Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Johnny5 and I'm here with a brand new video. Today I'm going to talk about how to get rich in the Navy. I'm going to go over five topics that will help you secure yourself financially. First topic I'm going to go over is savings. So in the military, you get two paychecks per month, the first and the 15th. If you have Navy Federal, you get paid a little bit earlier than that. Savings is key when it comes to basically stacking your money up because if obviously if you don't have money, you can't do anything, you can't invest. A lot of people in the Navy seem to spend all of their paycheck and basically live paycheck to paycheck every month that's a huge problem because what happens if they have to get out or they are going to get out they have no money left at all in your time in the navy save up as much as you can save up put it in your savings savings account keep it in your checking account don't spend a lot of it spend on what you need unless you have the capital to do what you want to do. Moving on to the next topic, investing. Invest your money that you get. Once you get to a high enough savings account that you have a lot of income in there and you're comfortable with investing some of it, then go ahead and do that. There's also stuff that you could do through the military. They do TSP and there's actually a lot more options on the TSP website if you go to it you can actually pick different funds that your money goes into and you sign you can sign up through this in boot camp when it first starts out and you could put however much percent that you want to and change it later on that's a good start because you put it in there you can't take it out until later on down the line when you get out, you could take it out, you could take a lump sum or however much a month, or just keep it in there for however long you want, you know? Investing plays a big part in raising your income, basically making your money work for you. And there's a lot of things that you could do out there. You could do automated investing. There's a whole bunch of apps now. I definitely recommend doing it, looking into it, reading up on it beforehand. Don't just jump into it right away because you could possibly lose money. Save up your money and invest your money. Third topic is not buying useless things. Now, a lot of people spend their money just because they have the money in their pocket, in their bank account, they can see it. They know they're going to get paid again, so they just spend it all. And they think that's okay, but in reality, it's gonna come back to hit you in the face and you're gonna have nothing, like no emergency money, no, savings no like you can't do anything you're stuck if an emergency comes in and you have to fly home for something that's just gonna put you even more into the hole than you already are so do not buy things that you're not going to use that will deteriorate over time look at if it's going to bring you value over time like if you buy a car as soon as you drive it off the lot it loses its value completely, drops down half, whatever. So you could bring that car right back as soon as you drive it off the parking lot after you sign the contract. They're gonna give you probably half of what you paid for it if you try to turn it in. I mean, obviously someone wouldn't do that, but just to give you an example, just don't, don't buy, obviously if you have to buy a car, buy a car, but don't buy one that is going to make you a slave to paying your debt off for your car. Don't be a slave to your vehicle because people ride around in BMWs, their E1, and they're gonna be paying off that for the rest of their naval career because they don't know how to manage their money and manage things that they buy. Prioritize your money, pay off all debt that you could possibly pay off. You literally get paid twice a month, so you could pay off all of your debt. If you throw it all in there, you have that luxury of doing that because you don't have to spend money when you're in the Navy. They cover you almost up to everything. Like, if you're living on the ship, there you go. You got your meals on the ship, you got your sleeping on the ship, your house is the ship. And you could go do free stuff on base, go hike, go, bike riding go out with your friends you don't have to spend money and then you start saving up saving up saving up 
Which brings me into my next topic, pay off your debt before you expand through that. Pay off everything before you buy any major purchases. You'll be on the right track to saving and then investing, growing your bank account, growing your income. And the last topic that I'm gonna go over is investing in yourself. Some of you may know what this means, some of you may not. Basically investing in yourself means growing your knowledge and learning as much as you can. An example of investing in yourself would be invest in books invest in workout gear invest in learning programs like there's a lot of programs online can help you learn things can help you like say you want to learn a language that would be considered or you want to learn how to do programming you want to learn how to do graphic design web design all of that stuff would be investing in yourself to grow further in life and expand your knowledge and what you can do and what you know. And a lot of people don't do this a lot throughout life. You need to always be learning and always be on to the next step while everyone else is lagging behind. You might not be a book reader or you might not even know what I'm even talking about. But if you want to succeed in life and further yourself in life from the average person, you have to Put yourself ahead in the game and you have to be learning all the time every day you have to be reading you have to be you have to just be on the grind if you want to actually be successful you have to have that attitude of going and getting it because nothing is going to come to you and just be given to you yes you're in the Navy and you have that paycheck but there are also other things that you could do while you're in the Navy. Take advantage of being in the military and better yourself also. When it comes down to it, you are responsible for yourself, whether you move forward in life, whether you're going to get out of the military or stay in. Either way, you should always be learning, always be reading, always be trying different things, experimenting and growing your knowledge so you could be ahead of everyone else. Not even that, just to better yourself, push yourself to reach your goal. If you want to be rich, that's what it has to take. You focus on yourself, you focus on bettering yourself, you focus on helping others along the way. Be a mentor, be mentored. You could bring people with you, bring people along the way, help people out because that's what it really is about. It's not always about the money. Yes, money is nice to have. That will come later on as you rise up to be a successful person. What really matters is how are you bettering yourself every day? How are you making yourself better than you were yesterday? And that's really all I got to say, guys. I can go into a lot more depth. I kind of want to keep this video on the short end, not really that long, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know in the comments if you liked it, if you didn't. Let me know your opinion, guys. And I will see you guys next time.